Methods of Inventory Valuation Inventory is purchased in many batches, in several lots. Today we may purchase a batch at rupees 100. A week later we may purchase it at 105 and a week after that at 107. The question arises that whenever we issue these materials to production or we sell these items, what is the value what is the cost of these issues or cost of these sales? Would we take 100, would we take 105 or would we take 107? Normally or broadly we can say there are certain items of inventory which are absolutely not interchangeable. They are bought for a specific purpose and can be used only for that specific purpose or that specific job. The other kinds of inventory are interchangeable. Each batch is more or less similar and can be used for any of the jobs which are being done in the factory. So let us come to the inventory which is not interchangeable. Suppose a factory makes shirts. It so happens that the factory has got a special order where the shirts require some gold plated buttons. So when we buy buttons, there is one special batch of buttons which come in which are gold plated. This is specific and to be used only for that specific job. Such inventory is valued exactly at the cost at which we purchased. And this is called specific identification method. This means that if we have a batch of buttons which came in for 100, another batch which came in for 105, a third batch which comes in for 107, and this particular batch which has come in for 1005. While inventory is issued in the ordinary course of business for the manufacture of shirts, when the particular lot of the special customer is taken up, the batch of gold plated buttons would be kept separately and would be issued only to this job at the price of 1005. It cannot be changed or mixed or interchanged with the other batches of buttons. Ideally, it would be best if we could value all inventories at exactly the specific cost at which we bought. However, that is not very practical. It is inconvenient and that is why we have other methods of valuing inventory for kinds of inventories which are interchangeable. Broadly, these have been divided into historical cost methods and non-historical cost methods. We will first cover FIFO and LIFO, first in, first out, last in, first out, and then the average price method and weighted average price. We will then move on to standard cost and adjusted selling price.